Woods. Good morning and welcome to Flinthead Outdoors. This morning I'm heading down to the creek, getting ready to show off the artifacts that I found on the tobacco field, May 31st, June 6th, and June 7th. I love being here in the woods, all the nature around me, birds singing. It's a beautiful morning here in Kentucky and uh, just a uh, very honored and privileged to uh, be able to own a little piece of it. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Walking down the ridge. Uh, got my uh, trusty uh, ridge walking stick here with me. I make them pretty long. Uh, I carve these uh, walking sticks and uh, they help me get down this uh, mountain. It's a real good morning this morning. Uh, almost summertime here in Kentucky. Everything's green. And uh, again, we're heading to the creek. But usually I have a deer encounter while I'm down here. Or some other type of animal. So, I'll get back with y'all. I've come from up there. I'm about quarter of the way down down the mountain and I walk these uh, deer trails heading down to the creek so I'm going off over there to the left gonna head back down toward the right right here along the uh, deer trail I just found a uh, chipmunk hole right there a lot of wildlife here up on the mountain Right now I'm about halfway down. I've made it about halfway down the mountain. I've got movement all around me. There's an animal up above me. I'm not sure if it's, it's a deer or what it is right now. But uh, continuing my way down the mountain to make it to the creek. Heading down the ridge this morning, I just spooked up a couple deer. They're blowing at me right now. They're heading off to the right. Uh, I'm trying to make it down this ridge right now. Alright, uh, y'all uh, down close to the creek now, and uh, right here where the muddy water is, and the tore up ground, this is where the deer came down, right through here, just a little while ago. I don't know if you can see all that, but all that tore up ground there, and they were heading off in that direction. Hey y'all, uh, I'm on the trail, the way that the deer went. I'm right near the creek, it's to the left of me. But right right before I go to the creek, I'm going to show you this, what I just found. A uh, fresh deer track here, from those deer. All right, uh, I made it down uh, to the creek, continuing along the creek this morning. Brought my uh, artifacts down again uh, to show them off. 
and uh, got a little bit of water in the creek. This area right here, uh, I was on my way home last year and I looked up on this bank here, this washed out bank, and I found an artifact. Hey everyone, I just wanted to show off the uh, artifact that I found in the creek bank in uh, 2012. Here it is right here. It's a uh, what they call a uh, turtleback scraper. Wasn't able to do a very long video on it and I'm not going to do one now. But uh, I just wanted to show it off real quick. Really cool. Flat on the bottom there and rounded at the top. Decided to come down here to the creek this morning and let y'all see uh, a little bit of the woods and, and some of the creek. Probably not going to do a hunt today down here. Uh, might wait for a little bit. I got a deer walking near me. Anyway, I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Good morning, everyone. Uh, back again down here in the creek today. Uh, getting ready to show off my finds from May 31st, June 6th, and June 7th. Below me right now is the first artifact that I found and got my start here in uh, looking for artifacts here in Kentucky. That's a point. I was out looking for deer sheds that morning, uh, February of 2012. Didn't find any, but I found this point. Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh focusing in on uh, one of my artifacts from May May 31st. Just laid it down here in the creek. This is our wash up video for those artifacts. Almost full. A uh, little broke off on that back there, but uh, really a cool find from that tobacco field on May 31st. Well, I'm going to lay all of them out right here on the uh, creek bottom and uh, let you all see them by day. So with this right here, this is the first one. I'm going to be back in a little bit and let you see the rest of them, starting with May 31st, 2014, here in the creek uh, in Kentucky this morning. All right, I'm ready to uh, show you all off my uh, artifacts from May 31st, 2014 that I found in the tobacco field. Didn't have a camera that day, uh, but right now I'm going to get ready to show you off what I found. This right here is all work stuff, but really not worth showing off. A lot of broke. A lot of broke pieces that I found. And I put a lot more back down. Uh, didn't keep everything I found. I almost forgot about this one. This is cool. Anyway, here's the good stuff. First off, this point here. Really, really was uh, a thick one. Really, uh, really cool. This one again here. Also found this bird point. This I'm not sure what it was. Uh, if you can tell or not, but it's really thick. Broken something. My son found this one here, and uh, thought it was really cool. Has a little notch on the back. A little broke area, I guess, but a cool uh, point. This one here, 
This was really cool. I wish it had been full. Little, uh, little, I guess a bird point maybe. But super, super thin. All right. This I'm not real sure of. This right here. This one right here. This here. All right, that's what I got to show off for uh, May 31st here in the creek. In a little bit, I'll get ready to show off June the 6th. Below you is the finds that I found uh, on uh, June the 6th of 2014. This is the first one I'm going to show off. Another, uh, another nice point, but broken. Another point here found. This is the uh, middle of... Uh, an artifact but again not sure what what kind it is still trying to learn all these names another point I'm hoping this is in focus I can't really tell this was the first one I found that day got a reddish uh, salmon color to it sounds like uh, somebody's dog or coyotes are going off right now anyway this one uh, I'm not real sure of what it is it is worked a little bit on the front of it maybe a thumb blade uh, but I thought it was neat now this one is the really coolest one that I found that day. It's got a curve. I don't know if it's going to show up here or not. But uh, you can see that it curves. But right here, and again I'm trying to show off the detail as best I can. It is worked on the front there, and uh, very uh, colorful one too. Uh, got that red in there, uh, yellow in the back, and the gray. But uh, this is a real favorite of mine right here. All right, I'm gonna. I got a few more here for uh, June sixth. This one here, this was a heartbreaker. It was broke on the front, broke down in the bottom, and uh, it would have been a nice point. And destroy, destroyed by the tractor in the back. I wish I could have found this one before that happened, but anyway. All right. Just a few more. This one I found. Another uh, small one. But it looks like it's been broken on the back end of it. This one here. Got some work on it. Not real sure again about this one either. This right here, I have two more at home, and I've been told that they're uh, some type of, called a hand chopper, but uh, fits right in the hand, and uh, really worked well.
all the way around it. All right, one more, saving the best for last. Really cool artifact and full. Maybe even a little, little uh, translucent too. I don't know if I can get that angle there or not, but the sun seems to try, be trying to cooperate right now. But uh, anyway, the best one of the day right there. All right, a little earlier I had a uh, deer blowing at me as I came down here to do this. I'm going to show you off uh, one more day, June 7th. Uh, I got them somewhere up on the ridge behind me. I'm going to make the uh, next one a little bit quicker. June 7th coming up. All right, I'm back. Uh, here's uh, June 7th, sitting in the uh, creek again, and uh, just enjoying the moment, enjoying my time here in the woods, one of my favorite places to be. The Native Americans uh, used to walk this land, and uh, I found uh, artifacts here in the creek, found them up on uh, where my home is, and uh, just very privileged and honored to be able to live in an area that they uh, hunted, lived, and uh, just enjoyed their lives too. Alright, we're uh, going to show you off June 7th right now. This artifact here, I'm um, not sure, but it was uh, looks like to be a broke front end of a point. This is a broke end, back end of one. Turn it around there. Got a little bit of sun coming through. This one about fell over when I found it. Again, it's broken, but I was told it's the front end of a blade. There was just a little bit of black showing up through the through the dirt the clay and uh, I thought it was just another flake but uh, you always got to keep 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 your nose to the ground keep looking down and as Paul uh, told me this morning take off them sunglasses well Paul I don't wear them all the time but uh, I'm gonna take them off from now on and I'm hoping that'll help me uh, find a few more of these very happy and honored to uh, be able to own these. The uh, comments made by a few are not going to ruin my outlook on it. And uh, I know it's not going to ruin everybody else's outlook on uh, trying to preserve the history of these artifacts. Alright, I'll get off my soapbox right now, but just enjoying my time down here in the creek this morning. This, uh, I was told, and I'm not real sure, again, about a lot of what these are, trying to learn all the names, but it does have work to it. It's a broke piece of, uh, someone told me it might be a part of a celt, but I'm not sure, but it does have a real, it's real smooth, and, uh, Got some work on the front there. I'm not sure if this is showing up on video or not. This one I really like. Uh, got a deep red color. And uh, got that gray in the back. Alright. Got this one here. This was the first full one of the day that I'd found right here again I don't know the name of it but uh, it's completely full 
It's worked in the back, worked on the sides, worked in the front. There's nothing broken and nothing wrong with it. All right, last but not least, this one here, you can believe this story or not, I walked right by it. I looked down at it. I thought it was a leaf. Always slow down when you're out looking for them. I know I tend to sometimes walk a little fast. I'm starting to learn how to slow down, take everything in, and when you do, I happened to walk the one row, walked by it, walked all the way to the other side of the field, came back, took a second look at it, tapped it with the tobacco stick that I walk with, and I was rewarded with this one. It's only broke a little bit, maybe right, right on this end and on the ears a little bit. But other than that, it's a full one and uh, quite proud to own this one too. All right, well that concludes our uh, little show off of my artifacts from May 31st, June 6th, and June 7th, 2014. Thank you all again for uh, watching our channel, commenting, subscribing, friending us, sending us artifacts. Thank you, Ben, Indian Trace again, and uh, Alabama Headhunter Man. Uh, along with Ben, you have blown me away with the artifacts you sent me, uh, Cliff. They're quite cool. Uh, later on, uh, when I get some time, I'll get to show everyone off uh, what Ben has sent me what Cliff has sent me. We've got a few other uh, artifacts being sent our way and y'all will get to see those too when I get them. I'm very grateful for the friends that we've made. Uh, Gary there in Ireland. I want to give a shout out to you right now my friend. This is my creek and uh, this is my life. And uh, just just love being able to uh, have a little uh, own a little bit of this here in uh, Kentucky. And uh, just uh, want to say thanks again, everyone. We hope you uh, continue to watch our channel, continue to comment. And uh, Rockhead in Ohio, hopefully, uh, thank you for the invite. We're hoping to uh, get to uh, work out the details with you and get to be able to hunt a field or two with you soon. Maybe even the river, that'd be cool. All right, uh, I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you again, uh, and if you all would like to share your artifacts with us, we'd share ours with you. We'll send you some artifacts from Kentucky if you'll send us yours. Thanks again, everyone, and uh, we'll catch you all later.
I don't know if they'll sound off again, but I'm listening to Coyotes right now.